So this is an interesting development that keeps going on, and I, I don't know. I really don't know what to think about this. But we're, we're going to be breaking down some stuff here. Avatar 2 is expected to at, to at least double the original's opening weekend. Yeah, but that there's aspects to that that people don't want to actually talk about. James Cameron's Avatar The Way of Water is currently expected to double the, orig the original 2009 film's opening weekend at the domestic box office. Yeah, because ticket prices have increased since then. Ticket prices have basically doubled, oh, excuse me, since 2009. So you could have the same amount of people go see it opening weekend. It'll double your the opening weekend. That That's not a good thing. That's a bad thing. And there's no saying that it's actually going to do that because we have reports of it technically, yeah, doubling in a sense, but it's still the same amount of people. That's not new people. Avatar The Way of Water is on track for a huge opening weekend at the domestic box office this December. According to Deadline, James Cameron's long-awaited sequel is currently tracking to open between $150 million and $175 million. However, some rivals are predicting the way of water could hit $200 million in its opening weekend. A $150 million opening for the way of water would almost double the $77 million opening of the original film back in 2009. Yeah, here's the thing. That's not new viewers, though. That, that's not new people. That's the same amount of people going to see the movie because... Ticket prices for 2009 were $7.50. This is average. Now, some places are higher, some places were lower, but that's the average price. Average price right now from this area says it's about $11. It's $11, but roughly around, uh, I think it was $13, uh, 11 to 13 maybe even $14 in some areas. And that I think the average is actually $13 right now. So, yeah, you're you might be doubling your the amount of money you're bringing in, but you're not doubling the people. You're can, you're having the people stay basically the exact same thing due to inflation and a recession right now. Do we really think it's going to hit This isn't great for a modern time. This is actually relatively crappy cuz these numbers aren't tracking the way it want, they're trying to portray it to be tracking. Again, it's basically the exact same amount of people. There, it's not much of a difference. Box office analysis have also noted that Avatar sequel isn't expected to have an extremely front-loaded opening like other fanboy titles, i.e. superhero movies, but will instead have some serious legs at the box office. I'm, I'm really curious on how this movie's going to do. And I, I give CBR credit for this next part that we're about to go into, but I'm I am curious on how this movie is going to do, and I'm worried it's going to be a flop. It could be the biggest movie in history, but it's looking like it potentially could be a massive flop. And you, Avatar fans, I'm sorry. I'm not a huge Avatar fan. I thought the first movie was okay when I saw it. I was not super impressed. I do have a really good friend, Silver. Back when he initially saw it, he loved the movie. He I don't know how he thinks about the movie now. He probably still loves it. I, I just wasn't impressed. But sticking with this first initial spot, sticking with this, you might be doubling your income, but you're not doubling your viewers. So that that takes in a huge amount there, considering ticket prices like I've shown you have basically... in. You have to remember it's about twelve to th it's about thirteen dollars, not actually eleven dollars. Ticket prices have basically doubled since then. Granted, it's seven dollars and fifty cents to thirteen, but it, you you get what I'm saying. They've increased so much that it's not really new people you're getting. It's similar people. It's the same amount of people coming in. Despite the strong box office projections the way of water for The Way of Water, Cameron has stated that the science fiction picture will need to be one of the best performing movies of all time to earn back its estimated $400 million budget. When asked recently about 
how much the sequel needed to gross to break even, the filmmaker called The Way of Water the worst business case in movie history. Yeah. Because uh, it costs so much to make. It costs ridiculous amounts of money to make, ridiculous amounts of insurance. Th this was not a cheap movie to make. They're, they're not... They're not taking into account basically you remember you're gonna have to double this so from right around 500 let's say it's 500 million you need to make you double that to be a billion no I, I'm I don't I'm I'm going off on a tangent that doesn't really matter I, I my brain was functioning weird this isn't even getting into the crux of everything because you have art, you have CGI, you have insurance, you have all sorts of other matters. Saying it needed it needed to be the third or fourth highest grossing film in history. That's your your threshold. That's your break even. Cameron's own Titanic, nineteen ninety seven, and Lucasfilm's Star Wars: The Force Awakens. Let's be real, it could, prob it could probably beat Star Wars The Force Awakens, are currently the third and fourth highest grossing films, with each earning over $2 billion globally. $2 billion globally. This means that The Way of Water needs to earn at least $2 billion to break even and recoup its massive budget and marketing costs. Yeah, that's the... that. I don't know if it's going to get there. In 2022, the way everything's going showed you the ticket prices i showed you how everything's going up in price i don't think it's gonna get there you have to take into account that titanic came out in 1997 i don't believe we are in such good financial times then but we were in much better financial times than we are now you also have to take the force awakens came out mm, 2000 it was 2015 so again we were in another we were starting to come out of a hard financial issue as well still nothing was good but none of those times are as they are now we have massive issues right now globally with the financial markets and everything like that could it make two billion dollars yes it, it, it could easily make two billion dollars it needs the chinese markets 100 percent. it needs every market to accept it and it needs people to go to the movie like crazy. I don't know how good it's going to do. I am curious. I mean, the trailers make me curious of what the heck's going on. The premise makes me curious, especially because Avatar 1 sounded like a very closed story. But you have an Avatar 2 and plans for five, four other movies. This means that the way of water basically needs to earn $2 billion to break even and recoup a ma massive budget. Okay, we got there. Although the way of water is being planned as the first of four Avatar sequels, Cameron has explained that the fourth and fifth films in the, fran uh, in the franchise could be canceled if the way of water underperforms at the box office. Yeah, you're, you're, I don't think it's going to perform the way you think it's going to perform. I don't think you're going to get the $2 billion. You easily could. This, like, this movie easily could. At the same time, it easily could fail. It, it all depends on that opening weekend and how people think of this movie to see how it's going to move. Word of mouth is going to have to travel hard with this movie. You also have to take into account that the reason Avatar 1 did so well was it was pre it was said to be this huge IMAX movie. It's the first IMAX of its nature. It's this big, beautiful movie. And it was very beautiful. It was very pretty. But it was, as people like to point out, it's Fern Gully, Blue Alien Fern Gully. It's Dances with Blue Alien Wolves. It's Princess Mononoke with Blue Alien Cat People. We've seen it all, all over and over again. It's just Blue Alien Cat People. That's all it is. It's it's a similar story, just new premise. So it, it's not breaking any grounds, but it all depends on how the story does for this movie to see if it's going to even eke to that point. I'm skeptical if it even does, because you're going to need 
you're going to be praying for that number on your opening weekend, potentially to even get near this number. Uh, fourth, uh, fourth and fifth box office. The market could be telling us we're done in three months or we might be semi done, meaning, OK, let's complete the story within movie three and not go on endlessly if it's just not profitable. Cameron said at the at this time, Avatar four has shortly has shot roughly a third of its footage while Avatar five is still in pre-production. I don't I don't know what to think. I don't know where we're going to go. I don't know how this movie is even going to fare. Uh, the CBR does a good thing of showing like all these pretty pictures that they've been putting out. You get talks about how it, it's setting up sequels. You have this Avatar 2 actors needed futuristic jetpacks for underwater scenes because that that's why this whole this insurance was so insane because they filmed underwater that that costs a lot of money there. You, this is gonna be a this is one of the largest costing movies I think of all of a long time I don't see it making a profit I don't see it making much of a profit I think it might it could break even but I don't see it making very good a profit but let me get your guys' thoughts down in the comments below and if I earned your subscription today I'd be most thankful if you hit that button and then hit that notification bell for every time I put out a new video and go live and also hit that thumbs up button if you like the video and I will see you guys on the next one Bye for now.